In the fall of 2020, I was invited to teach a bottle brick wall workshop at the Tamaqua Sustainability Project in Pennsylvania. I took the opportunity to meet everyone that was involved one-on-one -on -one to hear their unique stories and to share them with all of you. In this video, I'd like to introduce you to Peter Christine, a local contractor with a passion for natural building. Hi, my name is Peter Christine, and I came to this uh, bottle brick workshop representing the Natural Builders Guild of the Lehigh Valley. We're interested in promoting the art and science of natural building, getting more people interested in, in hiring this kind of work to be done, training contractors just to be contractors, how to do basic construction as well as natural building construction and how to run a contracting company, and uh, how uh, individuals can learn to use these techniques on their own on their own properties um, and, and help other people. So that's, that's what we do in a nutshell. The Natural Builders Guild uh, is a group of professionals, contractors, and enthusiasts, people who are um, owner builders, people who are just interested in learning more about natural building. Been around for about four years. We're a working group of the Alliance for Sustainable Communities of the Lehigh Valley. Guild members have natural built uh, contracts that have happened in the Lehigh Valley that have included workshops that were open to the public. So um, we've also done outreach through local um, uh, community organizations like Redside Plantation. Well, then, what about your experience with this workshop? What did you gain from this one? I learned a, a totally new way of, uh, of approach to masonry and uh, a new approach to using salvage materials. That's sort of sort of the connection that we have with the Natural Builders Guild. With this, um, usually with the Natural Builders Guild, what we're what we're we're looking at is using minimally refined products that you can find in nature and how you can build a structure with them. The Earthship concept is related, but it's more based on the salvage idea of. Here are things that are overabundant, and how are we going to use those to build structures? Um, so I've done done some masonry work. Never worked with uh, bottle bricks, so got to learn about bottle bricks. Um, and really, uh, the the main thing is building a an off grid passive solar house in Tamaqua. That's really to me what's what's most interesting about this project is that um, it's a it's an education for the community. It's an education to the local building instructors. I built my own house in Lower Dementing Township, and um, I installed a composting toilet. And uh, the, the sewage enforcement officer, who was required to give me the permit, didn't know that it was legal. He knew it was legal to install a compost toilet. He didn't know that it was legal to reduce the size of the sand mound because I had a compost toilet. So I had to show him the ordinance, <laughs> the the state um, DEP ruling that says if you have a compost toilet, you can reduce your sand mount size by 40%. He said, oh, thanks for showing that to me. I didn't know about that. So I think a lot of this uh, is, is an, it's, um, opening, um, opening the door to new ways of building that um, people are just not used to, um, consumers and, and code enforcement people and uh, builders. Um, that's uh, a lot of what we do with the Natural Builders Guild. Um, things that uh, we have people who have been working in construction 15, 20, 30 years, they've never built this way. So they get to learn to build in a new way. So um, that I think is really the opportunity that we have here. If you're in the Philadelphia area or if you're in Pennsylvania and you want to check out the Natural Builders Guild, I got a link in the description for you. You can stay up to date with all the uh, courses and workshops that they're going to be having. Plus, be sure to subscribe to the Off Grid Guru on YouTube where we have a lot more interviews about this project plus a full-length documentary covering the construction of an earthship in Pennsylvania so you really don't want to miss out. 